So good day, I am Engineer Charles Mateo from the Mariano Marcus State University and I will be discussing to you simple curve and based on the uh, book of an author from the martalino.com. So let us define what is simple curve. So simple curve is a circular arc as of a railroad track joining two tangents. So a simple curve is a curve that does not cross itself. A complex curve is a curve that is not simple. One way to think of a simple curve is that a path can be traversed along the curve from end to end or for a closed curve from a point back to itself that does not intersect itself. So that is our simple curve. So we have already a figure at our slide. So we have here terminologies of or in a simple curve. So we have PC, and from the figure, is from the left, and red mark, is our point of curvature, or it is the beginning of the curve. While PD, that is the point of tendency, it's the end of the curve. While PI is the point of intersection of the tangents, and it's also called our vertex, and that can be found in the upper part of our figure on the right. Also, we have T, that is length of the tangent from PC to PI and from PI to PD. It is also known as our solved tangent. While R is the radius of simple curve or simply our radius. And L is the length of curve from PC to PD. And point Q is shown below as the midpoint of our L or that is the curve. And LC is the length of curve from PC to PT and point M in the figure B, in the figure is the midpoint of LC. Also we have our E that is the external distance so that's the nearest distance from PI to the curve and M is the middle ordinate the distance from midpoint of curve to midpoint of our chord and also from the figure we have the X and that is from the tangent line up to the length of the curve that is offset distance from tangent to the curve so note x is perpendicular to our tangent distance while well, we have also here the theta or that is the offset angle subtended at pc between pi and any point in the curve also we have the degree of the curve or that is our d it is the central angle subtended by a length of curve equal to one station. In English system, one station is equal to 100 feet and in SI, one station is equal to 20 meters. While soft chord, there is a chord distance between two adjacent four stations. Formulas for circular curves. So the formulas we are about to present need not to be memorized. All we need is geometry plus names of all elements in simple curve. Note that we are only dealing with circular arc. It is in our great advantage if we build it at geometry level rather than memorize these formulas. So first formula is the length of the tangent. Length of tangent also referred to as subtangent. It is the distance from PC to PI. It is the same distance from PI to PT. From the right triangle, PI, PT, and O, we can derive this formula, T is equal to R tangent I over 2. We also have here our external distance, and that is our E. External distance is the distance from PI to the midpoint of the curve. From the same right triangle, PI, PT, and O, we can derive this formula, E is equal to R second I over 2 minus R. We also have here our middle ordinate M. Middle ordinate is the distance from the midpoint of the curve to the midpoint of the curve chord. From right triangle O, Q, PT from the figure, we can derive this formula M is equal to R minus R cosine I over 2. Also, we have the length of the chord as our L. Length of chord is simply length of chord is the distance from PC to PT. Again, from right triangle O, Q, and PT, we can derive this formula. L is equal to 2 R sine I over 2. We also have here the length of the curve. 
a new somewhere LC. Length of curve from PC to PT is the road distance between ends of the simple curve by ratio and proportion. So we can derive this formula LC is equal to pi radius times the angle of intersection by, by 180 degrees. And an alternate formula for the length of curve is by ratio and proportion with its degree of curve. In SI units, one station is equal to 20 meters. So we can derive this formula. Length of curve is equal to 20i over d. While in English system, one station is equal to 100 feet. We can derive this formula. LC is equal to 100i over d. So if given the stationing of PC and PD, length of the curve is equal to stationing of the point of tangency minus the stationing of point of curvature. Also, we have the degree of curve, D. The degree of curve is that central angle subtended by an arc or arc basis or curved basis. Curved basis of one station. It will define the sharpness of the curve. In English system, one station is equal to 150, and in SI or System International, one station is equal to 20 meters. It is important to note that 100 feet is equal to 30.48 meters, not 20 meters. So we have here arc basis. In arc definition, the degree of curve is the central angle subtended by one station of circular arc. This definition is used in highways. So using ratio and proportion, one station over the degree of curve is equal to 2 pi r over 360 degrees. So in system international units, we have one station is equal to 20 meters. So we have this formula, 20 over d is equal to 2 pi r over 360 degrees. Or in English system, we have 100 over d is equal to 2 pi r over 360 degrees. And lastly, our chord basis. Chord definition is used in railway design. The degree of curve is the central angle subtended by one station length of chord. From the dotted right triangle below, we have this sine d over 2 is equal to half station over r. Half station is either 10 in SI units and 50 in English system. So in SI units, sine d over 2 is equal to 10 over r. And in the English system, we have sine over d, sine d over 2 is equal to 50 r. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you will subscribe once again to our YouTube channel. You can also search my name, Charles Mateo. Thank you and good day.